Tobacco's Pipes and More. I'm Oki Ozark Piper, and today we're going to do a review of the classic blend Rat Ray's Old Gowrie. Richard, how's that 10 note? It's a, it's a dry smell. Um, I do smell some um, maybe fig or, or raisin in there. But I also smell, some people say grain, but I'm going to say oatmeal. In fact, if you say oatmeal and raisins, that's pretty darn close. It smells, it, it kind of smells like the food pantry uh, in, in my house. You walk in there and just has a pleasant, um, you know, dry staple smell to it. Um, it's, it's very elegant. Uh, perhaps a little bit of, of, um, vinegar at the very end but boy that is faint if somebody else were to say there's no vinegar smell at all i wouldn't i wouldn't even argue with them old gallery was originally created by the master blender charles ratray in 1911 Charles Ratray fulfilled his dream and opened a tobacco store in the ancient capital of Scotland, Perth. In just a short while, the store became the top address for tobacco lovers. In the back rooms, he composed exquisite specialties to satisfy the demands of the fine gentlemen that frequented his shop. After his death in 1964, his son Charles Ratray Jr. took over management till his retirement in 1980. After he died only a few years later in 1984, his daughters inherited the name rights and the original recipes of the Fine Rat Ray's tobacco line. These tobaccos are now produced by Cole House and Cop. What does this taste like? What's the smoking experience on Old Gowry? Um, well, it's a Virginia base blend. Um, there's some Perique in there, um, but there's also um, a bit of Kentucky. And the Virginia by itself would probably want to push things toward the acid side, make it bite a little bit. Um, but the Kentucky is pulling it back, and the Kentucky is giving it a fullness. Um, a full bodiedness and uh, it's it's really very very pleasant um, the preek of course adds a little bit of uh, of a pepper not a whole lot but just enough to spice things up I would say that the preek is used in very low proportions in this blend and it kind of it adds that third wheel so now there are, are three things going on that kind of are chasing each other rather than the uh, Kentucky and the Virginia kind of pulling for dominance. The flavor is uh, reminiscent of toasted almonds, uh, perhaps shredded wheat, just a slight um, sweetness to it. I really note the uh, sweetness in the aftertaste.
There might be a little bit of uh, caraway seed in there as well. Yeah, it, that's a, a time-tested uh, recipe. Uh, three nuns, green, same recipe, although that's a coin cut. And um, McConnell's uh, folded flake, um, also same recipe, although that's a, uh, that's a full flake. Now, this is a, uh, they call it a, a, a broken flake. It's actually more strands, it's just one step away from being a ready rub. You still have to rub it out a little bit. Um, it's a very pleasant smoke. Um, it's been around for a long time. There's a reason for that. Um, and it's, it's good. This is a, a very nice early morning blend. Uh, it's really an all day blend. It has a, a very nice aroma to it. I don't think any uh, anybody would be offended this by this aroma. It's a very smooth smoke. Um, it has a complexity on the flavor that is um, very subtle. I think. Uh, Initially, if you're not uh, paying close attention, you might miss some things and you might think of this as a uh, kind of a singular note, but there really is a, um, a little bit of complexity to it. It's very unassuming, but it's a very nice smoke. It uh, has a uh, I'm getting down here to about halfway in the bowl, and It has a nice amount of smoke to it. No flavoring is detected at all on this. This is one of those blends where they've taken just tobaccos and they've mixed it very well um, in an expert way to create a very nice light smoke. Medium to light, medium, it would be a light medium smoke that uh, is good about any time of the day. This could be an all day smoke, easily. So in the end, what do I think about this? Well, as I said, it's a classic recipe. Uh, Old Gowrie's been around for a while, and um, it deserves a place in most people's smoking rotation, I think. Um, it, uh, it has that uh, well-rounded, um, just nice tobacco flavor. Uh, it does not bite. I think you could push it, but for the most part, it does not, doesn't bite me at least. Um, it's just very pleasant. If you think of a, of a all year round blend, this, this would be it. You could smoke it easily in the summer. Certainly you could smoke it in the winter. Um, no issues with that at all. Um, I, I think that uh, newcomers, new pipe smokers, they might not understand this blend, but they would enjoy this blend. It might, it might take a little getting used to, but this would be a good blend to train someone's palate to start searching out those tobacco flavors as opposed to aromatic flavors or something else, sugar and whatever. Uh, I recommend this blend. I, I like it. I've, I've been smoking it for decades, um, and, uh, and you should too.
let you go, baby. Let her go. I just wanna tell you that. Let her go. No, 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 no. Let her go. Yeah. All of my friends say, girl, you better take care. Cause that man is trouble, you best be aware. And though deep down, I know I might be headed for teardrops. Now that you got me started, I just can't stop. No, no, no. 